Uh, today was the official handover from Southampton City College of our two pusher ribs that we're going to be using at Camber and in Bermuda. Well these boats give us real good manoeuvrability around the Camber Quay, so we get 360 degrees manoeuvrability of the engines, which basically gives us the ability to operate safely and know that we've got the platform under control at all times, so we'd, we'd struggle without them. We've built them differently because we challenged ourselves in the materials we were going to use and so we've saved ourselves 20% of the carbon footprint of the base by using an eco resin and we've used uh, recycled plastics in the core so we've really looked at different materials and the impact, the positive impact that we could have from them. Well it's kind of a bit of a surreal opportunity like most people wouldn't say in their apprenticeship they did anything like this. I drove the rib. It's weird because the engine's in the middle of the boat, so instead of it, so it reacts differently. You kind of steer it with the stern instead of the bow. I think it took maybe a couple of attempts to actually land on the pontoon, but um, most of it went well. And doing a 360 was okay. It's I'd recommend an apprenticeship because usually you wouldn't get the opportunity. But learning on the job is a lot better, and it's a bit easier to get your foot into the industry. The students have managed to to really push themselves all the way through. It's a project that we that built from ground up, uh, a, a full-size boat. We've done a life cycle model for the, for the boat, so we can use that to really evaluate different materials, and hopefully we can roll that out through the rest of the marine industry, so designers and boat builders, manufacturers, can become more sustainable and make more sustainable choices on their materials going forward and in the future.